What's one way to close more deals and close more sales if you're willing to put in the work and effort? I'm Scott Slippin Bell. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento, California on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about how you can close more deals with some work. Now, here's the thing. Every industry has got a top dog. Every industry has somebody who's fantastic at what they do. And just the mere mention of their name causes salespeople to back off and go, you know what? I think I'm gonna bounce out of this call. I really don't wanna put in the time, the work, and the effort, okay? So here's the thing. You can squeeze out a couple of extra sales a year by being a fantastic salesperson, by doing your job. But here's the thing. It's gonna take time, it's gonna take effort, and it's gonna take energy. Now, the good thing for you is most salespeople are inherently lazy and they don't wanna spend the time, they don't wanna spend the effort, they don't wanna spend the energy to do something. I know that's different because you're watching a video to get better. So I want you to think about this. In, in your industry, whatever product, widget, gizmo, anything that you sell, there's somebody in your area, there's somebody who, who is in your region that's exceptional at what they do. And so your job is to reverse engineer why they're exceptional. Is it, do they take more time with their clients? Do they ask better questions? Are they better informed? Do they know their product better than anybody else? Are they willing to take the time, the energy, and the effort to do the things that other people are? Now, I have this saying, and I have this belief that you can't outwork me you can only underbid me. And you know, if you adopt that belief that, look, look you, you can't outwork me, it's not possible. You're not gonna ever outwork me. The only way that you have the even remote possibility to beat me is just by having a low price. And I'm gonna let you know, in the world of sales, anybody could be a low price leader. Yeah, I had a, a guy come in for an interview the other day and I was helping a company hire, and he was like, I'm a fantastic salesperson. I'm exceptional at what I do. And so, you know, me going through the questions that I asked, I undercover, I uncover that this guy, not really a closer, not really a closer. He's a price matcher, he's a discounter, right? That's what you're up against. You're up against people who are just like, well, let's just, let's do some price match, let's do some discount, let's do some negotiation at the end. They really are not exceptional at what they do. Now. I will let you know that when, 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 <laughs> when you take the time to, and effort and energy to be one of the top salespeople, there are times where the other salespeople just look around and they're like, oh my goodness, that's Scott Silva Bell guys on the case, fill in your name, right? Put your name here in the blank. That's Scott Silva Bell guys on the case. I'm just going to mail it in. I'm just going to do the bare minimum, right? You get... You get to close extra deals just from having an intimidation factor and being able to intimidate other salespeople. Like they're they're gonna show up and go, yeah, you're probably gonna get the job, right? I probably shouldn't do everything that I could. And remember, most salespeople are lazy and, and you, you just have to believe this. I have spent the last seven, seven years in front of rooms, writing with salespeople, hearing the true stories, hearing what goes on in their head. And this is one of the conversations that they have that nobody ever wants to tell you. Yeah, I was on this sales call and XYZ guy was out there and I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to go up against him so I mailed it in, All right? This, this is a real thing that most salespeople are scared out of their mind to talk about because in their mind, if they, if they let this out of the bag, they're gonna let some of their armor out. But I'm gonna let you know, as a top salesperson, you gotta know that there's plenty of people out there that just don't wanna do their job and they're cool. Like I call them cherry pickers, right? So like at the top over here, I'm gonna draw you a tree, right? I'm gonna draw you a tree. You got a tree, you got a tree, and uh, you know, some random salesperson can, can reach like this bottom level of the tree really easily. They can get the bottom level of the tree. They're cherry pickers, they're cherry picking the easy sales. They're after the ones and the things that they can close the deal on. But when it gets to like this next level up and they look around like that guy's tough to sell against, they just give up. They just, they don't, they don't wanna sell. They don't, they don't think that they need to. They don't think that they should. So I'm going to promise you that when you go out and you're able to intimidate other salespeople, you're going to close deals just from showing up. Right? The other guy's not going to do his job. He's not going to ask the questions. He's not going to give the demonstration. He's just going to try to be a price matcher. You know, one of the things that I did when I was out in the field, I would let people know, look, here's the thing. The only way that someone's going to beat me is just going to be a price match. And I explained away, that, that's not a good idea. That's not what you want. Right? It sounds good. Sounds fantastic. But at the end of the day, that's not what you want. And I'd give them the reasons why. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one for my coaching clients, right? So here's what you need to know. When you outwork the competition, you will close extra deals. You'll close some deals just from showing up. That's a sales tip, sales secret, some sales advice that most people, they might not have ever heard or ever thought of. So you've got one thing to do from here, just one thing. Somewhere on the sides, there's a subscribe button or down in the box, 
hit that subscribe button. Every time new content comes out, you will get an update. There's a little ring bell thing next to it that says, hey, I want to know when new content comes out. It's like really two things, the subscribe button and the bell that alerts you when new content comes out. And every time that I put out a new video, you'll get an update. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.